Good day guys and welcome. So it has been a while since I've actually um, uploaded just some straight out gameplay footage of my Skyrim SE. So um, here it is. And what I thought I'd do for the next uh, series of videos is actually um, showcase a um, EMB um, each time. So today we've actually got installed Pinnacle Reality EMB because what I find is I chop and change quite a bit when it comes to EMBs. Um, I'm always trying the new ones that come out. Um, I can never decide on any one particular EMB. Um, so yeah, I'm changing them up quite a lot and I also uh, tinker with them quite a bit as well. So in these uh, next series of videos, what I thought I'd do is just try a different EMB each time and leave it um, pretty standard as well, not um, fill around with it too much or change up too much. And I thought that might actually help me uh, then be able to go back and check the footage um, of the different EMBs and maybe decide on one that I, um, that, that I like and want to actually just stick with. And uh, who knows, it may actually uh, help you guys out as well. So to keep it all standard, um, I'm going to keep the same uh, weather mod installed for each of the uh, next lot of videos. Um, and I've decided to go with NAT, uh, Natural and Atmospheric Tamriel. Um, I just really like that at the moment. Um, I love the options it gives you in-game to actually uh, change up the uh, the look of your game with regards to colours, brightness, um, yeah, that sort of thing. Um, just in case you're not aware, um, when you do download Nat, you do get um, a spell uh, which is in Alteration, uh, Nat Settings. I'll just show you quickly what that looks like. So you've got graphic options, random weather. Um, if you click on random weather, it'll just automatically throw in random weather for you. Uh, night settings, so you can brighten or darken your nights. Um, climate settings. Let's make sure that's on default. Yeah, natural and atmospheric. And probably the best part of it for me anyway is the Nat FX. Um, you see we've got all these different presets, black and white cold winter dark age golden age snow white uh, bleak lo-fi muddy waters saturate contrast and then back to the previous menu so obviously each of those um, does pretty much what it says so it's going to increase the saturation for that one contrast for that one muddy waters it just um, adds some um, sort of a brownie sort of tinge over the top of the game Low fi I'm not sure about that. Bleak, obviously, yeah, um, washes it out a bit, etc., um, etc. Et Black and white, that's pretty obvious. Cold winter, it's probably going to add a little bit of blue, make things feel a bit colder, um, as opposed to, say, Golden Age, which is going to warm things up and give it a yellow tinge. And when you do click on one of these presets, um, you'll get the option to do 25% or 50%, 75 or 100%. So it's basically going to adjust the uh, strength of those presets. Uh, but we're keeping it all completely standard or default. And we'll do that for each and every EMB that we use. Uh, that way it sort of keeps things fair and it's a fair comparison as well. Alright, um, looks like we have a giant over here at uh, Elysium Estate. Obviously up to no good, so we better sort him out. And that would be the kill shot right there. Right in the heart, I do believe. Let's just see if he's got any gold on him. Whoa, well, you're right there buddy, sort of got a bit caught up on the gate. It's a bit nasty. I'll grab my arrows back. Yeah, we don't want your toe. Uh, we will grab the 300 odd gold though. Uh, yeah, what? Wow, that was a bit of a misfire there. Sorry about that. Okay, is this guy going to land? And I did not even get an arrow into him because my awesome follower did all the work. Uh, this is Takata, and she is amazing. 
Uh, what she'll do, if you're in the middle of a battle and your health gets really low, she'll actually revive you and uh, bring your health back to full. Um, she's actually saved my bacon on more than one occasion. And as you can see, she does love using magic as well. And uh, I started this whole build with the intention of being a mage and keeping it all fantasy-like. Um, I'm still hanging on to the fantasy side of things, but I'm not really much of a mage anymore. Um, I've gone back to the playstyle I like the most, which is uh, Archer um, slash Warrior. So yeah, from a distance I like to uh, get a few arrows into my enemies and then uh, as I get closer pull out a sword and uh, go a bit of hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. So that's what I'm back to. But that doesn't mean that I won't be doing using any uh, magic in the future. I still plan to do that as well. But uh, Takata pretty much has that covered. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing her name right, but anyway, I don't think she minds. Alright, so I probably should mention my lighting setup. I'm keeping it really simple as well. Uh, I've gone with Enhanced Lights and FX. And I've also got the Enhancer installed and Exteriors, but obviously not the weather side of that mod, because that would interfere with my weather mod NAT and the e &B, So yeah, everything except the um, weather part of Enhanced Lights and FX. Um, just, make, just wondering if we should make a run for the uh, chest over there. And I'll try to remember to get back into third person for you guys, because I know it looks better. Okay. That's a troll. Why is there a troll in a giant camp? Uh, we cannot have that. Ooh. Belly shot. Uh, the mammoth is not happy. Oh, I thought he was coming for me. He was actually going for the troll. No, he is coming for me. Time to find some cover. And my awesome follower has done the job for me. Oh, another mammoth on the way. Expert. Oh my god, I'm going to really struggle with this. My lock picking is um, 33. I'll just have a quick crack at it. I may fluke it. Ah, uh, yeah, probably not actually. Okay, we're just going to leave that chest for now. Oh wow, she just dropped another mammoth. She's on fire right now. I'll just see what the orc had. I'll get my arrows. Might as well take the sapphire. And 105 septums. Yes, please. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So I'm currently running the latest DMB binaries, uh, which I do believe are still 374. Um, I don't think that's been updated. Um, but I haven't checked for a few days, so you never know. Oh god, oh god. Mammoth coming. Run! Okay, I need a big rock or a tree to hide behind us. Let's go with this tree. Where's my... there it is. Ooh, that's a good shot. Yeah, what are you going to do, buddy? Yeah, you're going down. Um, okay, can I have my arrows back, please? Hey, I shot more than two at you. Anyway. So as you can see, yeah, we've got a beautiful, clear, sunny day, and, and yeah, it's quite bright. Um, it almost feels a little washed out, actually. It's so bright. But I actually like that because it feels real to me. I actually feel like the sun is out. And yeah, the shadows are still nice and dark, so... There's uh, quite a lot of um, contrast there, so that's cool. Yeah, so I'm really happy with that. Um, do we go up there? No, we don't. We'll push on. So we're not just uh, wandering around aimlessly here. We are actually on a bit of a quest. 
and it is to retrieve the Horn of Jürgen Winkola, which I'm sure you guys know is found at the tomb in Ustengrave. So that is where we're heading. Which is right there. And we are right there, so yeah, it's a fair way to go. Uh, what time is it? So we've got uh, 8 minutes past 10 in the morning. So we probably should have time to get there unless we run into some major trouble along the way. Which is highly possible. We'll see how we go. Wow, I've never seen my rocks looking so bright. They look quite washed out actually. They usually look darker. But um, yeah, again, I'm not bagging the EMB because it's, um, for me anyway, quite realistic. Um, we're in full sunlight at the moment. It is beaming down on us, so that's cool. I'm sure if the weather was different, um, say it was overcast and cloudy, it would be a lot darker. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like a husky attacking a crab. Um, I say go husky. Actually, let's help him out. There's another crab up here. There you go, buddy. Sorted him out for you. Oh, please don't come for me. No, no, no. Oh, he's attacking me now. Well, my follower. Run! Yeah, he's not running away, unfortunately. He's going to be a real pain. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to sort you out. Ow. Takata. What a shot. Just got to watch out for these mammoths here. Okay, let's um, push on around this way. Give them a wide berth. Um, I'm just going to check the water close up. I haven't actually done that since I've had this installed. Okay, the reflections are looking quite nice. I like it. So you notice my water's quite clear. Um, I do have the Realistic Water 2 installed, obviously. But I also have the Illinolta mod installed, which um, clears up the water quite a bit, which allows you to see quite a bit further into it, which I really like. Um, again, I think quite realistic. And there is a uh, Realistic Water 2 version of Illinolta when you download that mod. So, yeah, if you want to try it out, uh, make sure you get the right version. Yeah, I really like that. So, yeah, it's like really bright, sunny outside, but then... Um, well, we're still outside, but um, in complete shadow here. Yeah, nice contrast, I like it. And as you probably guessed, I'm running with uh, Dindalod's 3D Ultra Trees. So I do have Enhanced van Vanilla Trees um, installed. But I did actually um, do something a little different on my last install. Um, I've chosen um, a couple of verts textures. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, yeah, what? It sounds like explosions. My word! Look at those ruins. Remarkable. Oh yes, they are. They are incredible, Takata. Takata. I really don't know how to pronounce her name. Hey. Uh, we need a nickname for her. Oh, hello. What the hell is that? It doesn't look friendly. Oh yes. Oh crap, there's something else. Ow, 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 that really, really hurt. Thank you. Talk? We'll call it talk. Oh, I see you, buddy. Ow. Oh. It hurts to breathe right now. What is that thing? I don't like it. Kicking her butts. Probably no point sneaking anymore. Oh, headshot. You're welcome. Okay, sorry I forgot to be in third person for you guys. Holy crap. That does not sound nice, whatever the hell made that sound. 
So there she goes, healing me. Ow! Oh my god. Where is my... Dot. I was looking for my... Um, aiming. Oh my god. This thing is tough. So glad it's not moving. Whew. Wow, what have we stumbled across? Uh, there's still more, I think. Oh wow, and you see it's got a little cloudy and it has darkened up. No more sunshine. Love it. Wow, actually it feels like it's going to rain shortly. Oops, skeleton. Damn, I hate the rock. hate that. Okay. Hey, stop rolling around. You didn't have anything anyway. Talk, where are you? I'm going to need your back up. Here she comes. I am not wandering up there by myself. I'm actually uh, pretty low level. Around 30, I think. Well, it's probably not that low, but it feels low. Um, I've got quite a few enemy mods installed, which um, do make the game quite a bit harder. And I have found that without my awesome follower, I do get my butt kicked quite a bit and die fairly frequently. So obviously I'm trying not to do that. Okay, looks pretty safe. I think we got them all. I'm just going to go sword and shield. Just in case. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh crap, stuck on that. Oh, take that. Oh, great block, great block. Tough. This guy is a monster. There we go. That's what we do to monsters. Skeleton white hero. Yeah, he was swinging a steel greatsword, a mighty steel greatsword. That would explain some of the damage I was copying. That's probably the last mod I installed, actually. Um, just retextures the ash piles. There are a few different versions. I uh, went the um, version 2, I think it was, with the fire effect. Really like that. That was one of the last things in my game which looked really low res, the uh, ash piles. So I sorted that out last night. Yeah, another master chest. Alright, we might fluke this one. Oh. No. Oh. oh. Well, we know roughly where it is. No, it's not there. That's the problem with the masters. Oh my god, I can't even find the spot now. Was it there? Nope. Nope. Oh my god, it's just teasing me. Sorry guys, I know this is really boring for you. Oh my god, I have to open this now. How many lockpicks have I got? 86. I don't know if that'll be enough. Oh my god! I seriously cannot even find that spot anymore. Now I don't even know where it was. I thought it was right there. It's really hard uh, lock picking when you've got a controller as well. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Yep, too hard. Wasting way too much time. Well, what time is it? Okay, it's only 12.30. Whoa. Oh, that was her Atronarch dying. Okay, let's just check these guys quickly. We might have something good on them. There, 25 septums. Yeah, we'll take those. And probably these two guys at the front here might actually have something a little better. Whoa, who said that? Who is that? Oh my god. What the hell? You're not supposed to play with fire, you know. Skeleton girl? Whoa. She's so lucky I didn't kill her. That is crazy.
Okay. What do we got? 250 septums. Yes, please. Staff of Mind Vision. See through the eyes of target creature or humanoid for 10 seconds. Um, just trying to work out when that would be handy. I'm going to take it. Because it sounds fun. I want to try it out. And yeah, that's what we just searched. What's left of the Draman Skeleton Lord? Um, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, empty Greater Soul Gem, that will come in handy later. Alright, I think we're done. Let's push on. So yeah, the uh, Pinnacle Reality AMB has got a really nice feel about it. Um, you know, it's cloudy. <coughs> Excuse me. A uh, little overcast. Uh, so there's no actual sun coming through. And yeah, there's no sunshine. It's um, darkened up a little. Quite a bit, actually. It does still feel like rain. But um, I like that. Just do a quick save here and push on. So that's the direction we've got to head, but we do have to get through this uh, mountain range or go around it. Um, I haven't actually decided what we'll do there yet. And sorry, guys, I went back to first person, didn't I? Can we sneak through here? I think we can. So you notice I've um, even left the depth of field on. I'll do that for each of the EMBs because they can uh, vary quite a bit to the effects of the uh, depth of field. Some are definitely better than others, so yeah, we'll keep those turned on for each of the um, presets we try out over the coming weeks. Drillers Cottage. Yes, I remember this place. Talk. Should we go in? Yeah. Uh, what time is it? One thirty. From memory, this guy's not uh, very friendly. So, just in case. Uh, not very friendly and not very visible. I do believe he's out. Or sleeping? No, probably out. Okay, let's check the chest. Ooh, ebony helmet. Um, I don't really have much use for it. I could sell it. Oh, I've got 4,000 gold. I won't worry. Oh, that could be handy. So we'll take most of that. I do have a lot of um, Magicka potions at the moment, so... And I'm definitely not using magic as much as I was, so... I won't be grabbing any more of those potions. Uh, but health potions, yes. I'll always grab those. Alright. Let's just quickly unenchant that sword we picked up before. Ancient Nord Sword of Cold. Target takes five points of frost damage, blah, 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 blah. Um, yes, we do want to destroy that. You learned the frost damage enchantment from destroying this item. Excellent. Anything else? We're actually wearing all those things and using that shield, so... That's it. And that will light now load ever so slightly as well. Oh, wow, that's a nice spread. Especially if you're into alchemy. And we'll take that. And we'll push on. 
and that gave us a bit of a look uh, at the interiors as well. Um, sorry, I forgot to actually comment on it, um, but it all looked pretty good, so <laughs> I guess you could say no comments, a good comment. Certainly nothing bad stood out about it. Brightness seemed about right. Um, what's this place? Don't remember seeing this before. Probably added by um, one of my mods, actually. Secret Sanctuary. Um, I think we'll push on. We do have a goal here. And it'd be good to actually get there before dark. Decent spot to check out the horizon. Doesn't look too bad. The clouds look pretty good too, I've noticed. Certainly don't have any problems with those. Probably not a very good light to be checking out skin tones and such, but um, yeah, considering it's quite um, quite dark, um, the skin tones they look pretty good. Hmm, I feel like I'm approaching a cliff here. This could be bad. Uh, yeah. We sort of don't talk. What are you doing? Don't go down there. My very unrealistic double jump there. I absolutely love it. <laughs> it just makes it so much easier. Whoa. So much easier getting around. Oh, hello. Woo, 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 buddy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I tried to warn you. Could I have my arrows back, please? Okay, you keep them. And you're welcome. Saved your skin. Literally. like to save on a regular basis. <clears throat> In the past my um, Skyrim just recently got um, a little unstable. Um, I did narrow it down to a couple of mods which I had to uninstall. Uh, I had to clean the saves but that took a lot of um, testing to, to work it out. And um, yeah that just sort of got me into the habit of um, saving more regularly than I'm used to. But um, I think I've got it really stable again. Um, yeah, I haven't had any trouble for a couple of days now since I uninstalled a couple of mods. So, pretty happy with that. Because for me, it's all about um, the stability of your game. Um, I think it's important that you can just load it up and play for, you know, one, two, three hours at a time and just not have to worry about any crashing or freezing. And wow, it's getting uh, getting pretty dark. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. It's still overcast. And we're in a bit of a forest now, so... Maybe if we look at uh, Tox skin, get a bit closer. Yep, looks good.
Wow, listen to that wind. <laughs> it's actually making me feel cold right now. That's crazy, I love the immersion. Okay, we've got to be so careful wandering around this area. There's always lots of things out to kill us. And they're quite often really hard to see until you're about to step on them. Uh, yeah, don't mind me, I was just checking the water textures in this light. Um, looks pretty good. That's where the sun is, so it's sort of still reflecting off the water a little. But, um... Oh, actually no, the sun's over there. So there it is reflecting. Um, that's just the sky, I guess, yeah. And then the rough tree shadows either side. Yeah, so that sun's definitely getting down. So we'll probably just um, get to the tomb, maybe get inside, and then um, probably uh, end the video there. And then we can continue on with a brand new EMB loaded up for the uh, next one. mess with that guy. Ah, one of my house mods. I think it's some um, swamp shack or something like that. Let's just um, see if we can go inside straight away. Let's check it out quickly. So yeah, my mod list is um, just over 300 now. Um, I've been pretty busy over the last couple of weeks installing a lot of mods. Um, I'm trying to get it to a stage that I'm happy with. I think I'm getting really close actually. Um, to a stage where I'm just happy to play the game as is. Um, you know, get through some quests, get my character level up. Oh, sliding door. Now that is fancy. Oh yeah, this is cute. Oh, I feel so warm in here, I love it. Parrot doll. Not sure if we can sleep on that bed or not. It's not really giving us the option. What do we have here? Oh my god, that is so cool. Ah, oh, that looks gorgeous. I love it. Pity there's not a seat around here. Watch the sun go down. I'd love to sit right here. And just watch the sun. Uh, I guess we can do it this side in the morning and just watch the sun come up. Oh, we can still see it. Perfect. Wow. I'll make a nice screenshot actually. Just excuse me for a sec. should close this up. I've got a funny feeling I will be back. Very cute. Um, Toc, what 
are you doing? We're leaving. Still here. Uh, I need you to do something. All right. What is it? What do you need? Um, I need you to wait here for a second. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, got it. Oh, I just told her to close the door. Is she gonna do that? Anything else? Perfect. No, that's it. Thanks. Okay, let's um push on to this tomb. I think we're almost there. Really lucky with the weather, actually, that it cleared up for the uh, sunset. That is perfect. So we saw full sun to pretty much overcast, and then it's cleared up again perfectly. So we can see the sun go down. And we haven't come across anything that wants to kill us through the marsh. Incredible. Okay, it looks like we have some bandits up ahead, so let's just get ready for those. And I have a funny feeling I need to charge my ebony bow. And that's better. Oh. Necromancer, I do believe. Only a novice. Whoa. What the hell is that sound? Is there something sneaking up on us? No. Talk of you going in there, guns blazing, so to speak. I think she did. Take your lockpick. And you can keep that. I really just wanted my arrow back, but anyway. Wow, that looks gorgeous. So yeah, really impressed with um, Pinnacle Reality. Um, I like the look of it. Nice and colourful. And we found the tomb. And lost Tok. Takoto, where the hell are you? I'm sure she'll catch up. So how'd your trip go, buddy? Any luck? I don't think so. Alright, so we'll just check out the interiors again of uh, Pinnacle Reality e and B, and then we'll call it. Wow, this guy didn't have much luck either. Okay, there's a lot of dead people. Wow, fancy armor you have. Okay, are they bandits? I think the bandits up ahead. These thralls of yours are slower than Arconians in a blizzard. Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with manual labor. And I'm going to have to go back and get some um, Takata, I think. She's probably back at the shack. Waiting for the, her next command. After I got her to close the door, I forgot to tell her to follow me again. Anyone else? Nope. Okay, so that's pretty red. Um, so that's one of the things I would be changing if I was using this all the time. Um, just getting rid of a bit of that red and the setting you need for that is the uh, point light um, curve and obviously interiors as well point light interior curve and it's found in the environment section 
I think the strength of it's fine, but I just, um, yeah, it's a bit too red for me. Anyway. Consuming power. I'll grab that. Void melt crass. Oh wow. That does look fancy. So I guess the uh, bandits were fighting with the uh, necromancer. Made my job easy. Alright, so the interior is um, not too bad. I like the um, darkness. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. I know um, YouTube um, does darken up the videos a little bit. Well, not intentionally, but they do come out a little bit darker. But for me, um, playing, this is about the darkness I like. You're the one making all the noise, huh? Yeah, come on, Mr. Overlord. And your buddies. Oh, you want to go too, do you? Finish him with a headshot. Look at that. Whew. Wow, he was spinning like a top, buddy. Love it. Alright, there we have it. So, that was Pinnacle Reality EMB with uh, Nat, Weather, and Enhanced Lights and FX. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, playthrough there. Like always, thanks for your support. If you like the video, click on the like. And, um,. Please subscribe if you haven't already because there's a lot more of these coming. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.